Today is the sixth day in the octave of Christmas. As you know, Christmas is too huge, too great to celebrate in just a day. So we put aside eight days to celebrate one day, the birth of Christ. That is why even the opening hymn, we kept saying, Christ is born today. Because the day is eight days, so we, every day Christ is born, you know. So that is the first thing. Um, but the reading, I'll put the one from uh, Luke, in the Anna story. Uh, this week we have been presented by this same writer with people who are old. And this writer, Luke, uh, is giving us a message that the more you grow in age, from what he's saying, you should be growing in your knowledge of God. I don't, I don't know whether that equation works for you, but that is the equation of the spiritual life. That the more you grow in age, your knowledge of God should be increasing. So this woman is 84 years old, we are told, and she had come to love God. That she goes to the temple morning, evening, even at night. The word says that she means as if she sleeps there, she lives there. The house of God is her house. Every day she's found there in prayer and fasting, we are told. As we go through the rest of the Christmas season, we need to also deepen our knowledge of God. And that can come from this woman meditating day and night, every day of our lives, and coming more, more into his presence like Anna. And that is why the first within first John mentions that he is advising each of us to make use of this gift of God because it forgives us, it enriches us, and it helps us to grow. He mentioned children, young men, fathers, everybody. Because Christ's message is a message for everyone. Indeed, Christmas gives each and every one of us a message. And that message is that as Jesus is born, let us grow to know him more and to love him more. And above all, make him a real a reality in our world. Amen.